Hi, my name is Chris Washburn and I'm a trombonist and today I'm going to talk to you about developing the ability to hear in front of your bell. One of the most remarkable experiences is the first time that you actually record yourself and listen back. Or even when you're speaking and you listen to your voice on a tape, it's oftentimes not what you're hearing inside your head. As a trombone player, you've got so much noise going on inside your head with your buzzing of your lips and your tongue that it's very difficult to hear what others are hearing that are in front of you. But this is very important because when you play concerts, it's not you that you're playing for, it's for your audience. So oftentimes, all you have to do is put earplugs in and play, and what you'll hear is a lot of sloshing around of your tongue and the buzzing inside your head. The first thing that's important to do is to get some type of recording device and just start to play simple scales and melodies and then play that recording back to yourself so that you can imagine what your sound is like even though you're hearing it from behind the bell because from behind the bell it's not where the sound is going you're actually listening from behind the sound the sound is projecting out and so you're at a real disadvantage you actually have the worst seat in the house to hear yourself play once you start to do this recording you'll start to realize that there are some minor things you can change so that you have that ability to develop what I call the ear in front of the bell. And once you do that, it's one thing that I always ask myself is, would I actually pay money to hear that sound? And if that answer is no, then I need to make some kind of adjustment. And this doesn't matter where you are and what level you are, if you're just a beginning or an intermediate or even a professional player. This is one of the most important components. One of the ways to improve your sound in front of the bell is also to imagine your sound projecting across the room. We oftentimes practice in very small rooms and small spaces, but every room has its own vibe and has its own resonance. So it's important to change practice rooms frequently, especially large ones. And if there is a wall way at the other end, then that's where you're playing to. Imagine your sound traveling all the way across. And if you record yourself while you're imagining these things, you'll see a remarkable improvement in that sound. So here's an example of what it sounds like if I've just played it myself. But if I think about a wall far away and play to that wall, or imagine a listener sitting against that wall, all of a sudden the sound opens up and it sounds like this. That wasn't me playing louder, it's me playing larger and projecting farther away. It was very little extra effort was put into that, but the sound improves. And this is very important to develop your own personal sound and also a sound that others will appreciate.